Thank you for once again choosing Shooting USA on YouTube. If you're interested in current full-length Shooting USA episodes, follow the link in the description to our Vimeo channel. For a couple bucks a month, you have access to more than 60 full-length episodes with new episodes debuting the day after they run on the network. Also, remember, we'll never ask you to call or text to win a prize, so if you see comments like that, just disregard. And again, if you aren't yet subscribed, it really does help the channel. Leave a comment and a like if you enjoy the content. Now, to the content. This time, the pros go long range with new shooters at the Bushnell Precision Gap Grind. Impact! Plus, the story of the famous Wild West six gun that never was. Then, a special match honoring the M1 Garand. This is Shooting USA, reporting the stories of America's shooting sports. Precision rifle competition, it's an intimidating sport. You need high-end equipment, the newest cartridge developments, and then there's the scope and reticle to figure wind and elevation. All of it makes it hard to start in the sport. Well, that's why Bushnell hosted the grind to make it easy for first timers. And the folks who came to try included John Scouten to both shoot and report. Precision rifle competition is a daunting challenge for any shooter with targets as close as 100 yards or out past 1,000. Ammunition derived from the cutting edge of ballistic capability powerful optics and the dope for each setup. Even suppressors to minimize the disturbance to the shooter. All this sounds intimidating to a new shooter, doesn't it? Well, Bushnell Tactical and George Gardner of GA Precision want to change that by creating a Pro-Am format. New shooters are paired with experienced pros to learn the ropes in a friendly competition environment. We're headed to the ranges at K&M Precision in the Florida Panhandle for the action. Impact. Impact. The challenge in this shooting sport is difficult enough. Impact. Hitting a one foot square steel target at a range of up to half a mile. Impact. Throw in the fact that it's very Impact. tech heavy. It's an XLR carbon fiber chassis. It's a Templar action. With a language all its own. Your dope or your data off previous engagement changes as your density altitude or your altitude changes, temperature and humidity. And long range precision rifle shooting can be intimidating. Hit dead center. I was scared to death before I got out here. Impact! Impact! But this match is aimed at ending the fear. It's the Bushnell Tactical GA Precision Pro-Am, pairing experienced professional shooters with newcomers to long range. Back. Oh, back to the first one. Yep. The message is loud and clear. Cease fire. Shoot him. That uh, it's not so scary. You know, you always ask people, you know, when are you come shoot a match? Oh man, it would be my first match. Well, man, you got to shoot a, shoot a match to be at your first match. So, so just make them feel a little bit more comfortable. And that was the whole idea. Great job. Most of these nervous amateurs meet their professional teammates one day before the competition begins. Nice to meet you, Rick. Nice Ryan. Where's uh, you get your green hat? Teaming up in advance for a day of practice helps get rid of those pre-match jitters. Very awkward. <laughs> no, Very good. awkward. Nervous. Are you, are you already zeroed up? One of those tandems is pro Ryan Allen of GA Precision Rifles and his amateur partner Rick Friedberg. Ryan is teaching Rick about dope, data of previous engagements. Okay, you nailed it. Okay, so the dope on that was right. Ryan stresses the value of detailed notes on wind speed, aim point, and scope adjustments. That was a hit. Hit. They said they have this event where you can pair up with a professional and you can be mentored by that person. And I figured, well, what a great opportunity to get into okay. competition shooting with somebody there to hold your hand. That was a hit. hit. Now you know you're in the game. Working with new people is always a challenge, but it's also fun at the same time because you're passing something that you've learned along to someone else. It's a win-win proposition. 
hit dead center. I had a lot of apprehension at first, you know. You don't know who the person's gonna be. You don't know how the relationship's gonna go, but he turned out to be great. So it looks like it's gonna work. And I'm glad I can be a part of that for at least one individual. So once they get out here, the shooters always realize, just like we did, hey, you're not gonna find a, a better bunch of Americans that wanna help out. And it probably goes across the shooting community. Hey, just get out there and, and have fun. They learn, they compete, they get addicted, everybody wins, and it's, and it's, and it's a fun weekend. Nice job. Fun and a chance for Allison to learn from the best, from her coach, Regina Milkovich, and from all the pros. Between like Brian and Shannon helping me and then having you and other people help out here with the pros, it's nice. Ah. And I got all this knowledge up here. I've got to put it someplace. I put it over in her little brain. So. <laughs> so basically what we're doing, we're on the mover. You've got your dope dialed in. And pro Melissa Gilliland is coaching her am on the fine points of shooting a moving target. You've got your crosshairs. With my rifle, I shoot when it's about a mil out. If that's my crosshair and that's my uh, one mil dot, when it hits to right there, I shoot, pull okay. the trigger. Melissa is showing Maxine Nix how to adjust her aim with a mil dot. Just right behind it. You're doing good though. Hold the mil, try holding a full mil. Mills are those dots you see in a scope aligned along the crosshairs. And moving your aim just a single dot changes your shot by a foot and a half at 500 yards. Woo, good girl, you did, did get it? it? You got it. One more high-tech challenge of this precision shooting sport. I mean, the word precision is perfect for, for describing this sport because it is so finite, and she really helped me see some of the finite things I was doing wrong. For both student and coach, it's a great first day. Working with her today and seeing the smile on her face after she was banging targets out there, um, it, it, it makes you feel good, for sure. I hit movers today. Come on. I mean, she's a great teacher. <laughs> Got it, girl. The goal of making this sport less intimidating certainly seems to be working for this group of amateurs. Well, coming up after the break, more from the grind in Florida. How a day of practice on the range prepares the newcomers, including me, for competition. Experience more control. Experience more edge. Experience more power. Experience M&P by Smith & Wesson. Day one of the Bushnell Gap Grind was all about meeting your pro partner and getting some team practice. But now it's match day with the range officers keeping score and that does add some pressure for all of us who are the amateurs. I want to welcome you guys to k and to the, the 2014 Bushnell Gap Grind Pro Amateur. 0630 and 75 brand new precision shooters are looking anxious about the start of their first long range match. Each shooter will shoot 15 shots prone at three passes of the 500 yard mover. One of these nervous newcomers is amateur Shelly Giddings. She's teamed up with pro shooter Stephanie Payne. And their day begins on what is surely the hardest stage of this match, the mover. Going. Good. Shelly hits her first shot and the new shooter nerves seem to fade away. Please that's her. Good job. Well, I thought she did really awesome. She did really good for her first time ever, especially never shooting a move before. Thank Great. you. Yeah, I felt I felt really good about that. I was really nervous. I feel a little better now. If I can hit that one, I can probably hit the rest of them. So. Good job. And after one more stage, this newcomer's convinced. Pro-Am format is the perfect way to welcome shooters to this sport. Impact! This has been absolutely amazing for me. I came out here with the wrong gear, not knowing anything I was doing, and now I have everything I need, and it's really nice to have somebody that's dedicated to helping me instead of just bugging random people. It's always fun bringing somebody new into this sport, and especially she's got a background in three guns. 
they'll find a comfortable position. Stephanie's husband, Tyler, is also bringing a new shooter along and trying to keep him relaxed. It's a lot of fun for me. I don't know how he's enjoying it. Hopefully, I'm a good teammate. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I hope I'm not bringing Tyler down. Ah, oh, no. Chris works through his first stage jitters with nine hits on the mover. Good job. I'll take it. And here is one more anxious newcomer. That's awesome. Yep. Shooter, stand by. Engage. I'm shooting my first long range competition with a GA precision rifle. Impact. Well, my first impression was wow, and my second impression was immediately, I hope I can live up to the capabilities of this rifle. Uh, this is absolutely state of the art. The rifle John's shooting today is a GA Precision team model. It's a XLR carbon fiber chassis. It's a Templar action made for us by Defiance Machine. It is a number six contour, Bart line barrel and six millimeter, one and eight twist, a Badger mini FTE comp. Uh, it has a Badger bolt knob. This particular rifle has a GDI mount and uh, it's mounted up with a Bushnell 4 to 30 XRS with a gap reticle in it. Hit. I've never pulled the trigger on anything this nice. This is kind of like the race car of this type of shooting sport. This particular rifle is chambered in six millimeter Creedmoor, which is what you get when you take a 6.5 Creedmoor and neck it down to six. So this is a 6.5 Creedmoor we do. This is loaded with the uh, 139 grain Lapua Sinar. We've got the Hornaby brass here, probably 29.20 in a, in a 25, 26 inch bolt gun. Engage. My pro-am partner is a former Ranger, retired Army Sergeant Major, and Bushnell Tactical Pro. Tom Fuller is also a longtime friend. Uh, it's fantastic. Tom is an amazing teacher. Uh, he has literally stepped my game up in this to be able to really run that rifle at a level that it deserves to be run at, and this is, uh, this is working out famously. And the great thing that he's doing for an amateur, he's not letting us get in his head. He's not overthinking it. He's putting his dope on it. He's constantly breaking a good shot. Our team faces one very big challenge early on the first day of this two-day match. The intimidating mover. Make this one count, John. It's a target about the size of a dinner plate, crossing at the pace of a fast walk, 500 yards downrange. We each engage with 15 shots and finish the stage with 10 hits each. I don't mind saying that uh, the mover was by far the most intimidating thing about this match for me coming in. Before we got here, that was the thing I was the most worried about. The mover's a very intimidating uh, course of fire, especially for a guy shooting for the first time. But uh, uh, that was a very impressive run he had. Three days ago, I'd have, I'd have been happy with three out of 15. So, 10 of 15 as an amp, I'm happy. All credit due to my partner. Well, you've made it to the end of another Shooting USA video on YouTube, and for that, we thank you. It does help the channel if you subscribe, like, and comment, and that will help us keep the content coming.